The Earth has been around for some 4.5 billion years and has been inhabited by life for almost all of its history. Humanity, however, has only come of age recently and likely won't be around for long on a cosmic timescale. Inevitably, our species will end. But beyond that, there are many different ends in store for our planet in both the near and far future. 1. The boiling of Earth's oceans. It's such a fortunate cosmic coincidence that our planet is the size and mass it is, with the atmosphere it possesses, at the distance it is from a star exactly as massive as our own. Only the right combination of all of these parameters has given us a life-supporting planet with copious amounts of liquid water directly at the surface. If any of these properties were significantly different from what they actually are, the diversity and variety of life that our planet possesses simply wouldn't be here today. For billions of years, Earth has been an ocean-covered world, with simple and complex life originating in the seas and only coming onto land relatively recently. Yet thanks to the future evolution of our sun, our oceans won't be around forever. As helium builds up in the sun's core, the region in which nuclear fusion occurs, it expands with dire consequences for us. As the oceans boil and the atmosphere fills with water vapor, the greenhouse gas effects will take over, causing Earth's temperature to rise catastrophically. Our planet will become more like Venus than like Earth today, becoming totally inhospitable to life on the surface. Only, perhaps, a few simple organisms will survive high in the cloud tops, but life as we know it will end on our world. The cosmic experiment of complex, differentiated organisms will have come to its natural end. 2. Reduction to a barren rock. You thought having our oceans boil was bad? How about the prospect of having every atom of atmosphere ejected from our world, of everything that ever lived on the surface reduced to charred ash? of the record of everything that living creatures left behind turned into dust. With enough heat and energy, that's exactly what would happen to any world, with Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun, being a prime example. In another 5 to 7 billion years, this is exactly what will happen to Earth, as the Sun fully runs out of hydrogen fuel in its core. When that occurs, the core will contract and heat up causing the outer layers of the star to swell. As it expands, it cools, but also becomes far more luminous, all while the core continues to contract and heat up, on the path to begin fusing helium. As the sun transitions from a main sequence star to a subgiant, and then from a subgiant to a full-fledged, helium-burning red giant, nothing on Earth will withstand this solar onslaught. The sun will swell to almost a hundred times its current diameter and will become thousands of times as luminous as it is today. The earth will be stripped completely bare, while simultaneously being pushed away from the sun in its orbit. The inner worlds, Mercury and Venus, will be totally devoured. 3. Reversal of Earth's magnetic field. Every few hundred thousand years Earth's magnetic field dwindles almost to nothing for perhaps a century then gradually reappears with the north and south poles flipped. The last such reversal was 780,000 years ago, so we may be overdue. Worse, the strength of our magnetic field has decreased about 5% in the past century. Why worry in an age when GPS has made compasses obsolete? Well, the magnetic field deflects particle storms and cosmic rays from the sun, as well as even more energetic subatomic particles from deep space. Without magnetic protection, these particles would strike Earth's atmosphere, eroding the already beleaguered ozone layer. 4. Robots take over. People create smart robots, which turn against us and take over the world. We've seen this in movies, TV, and comic books for decades. After all these years, look around and still, no smart robots. Yet Hans Moravec, one of the founders of the robotics department of Carnegie Mellon University, remains a believer. By 2040, he predicts, machines will match human intelligence and perhaps human consciousness. He envisions an eventual symbiotic relationship between human and machine, with the two merging into post-biologicals, 
capable of vastly expanding their intellectual power. Marvin Minsky, an artificial intelligence expert at MIT, foresees a similar future. People will download their brains into computer-enhanced mechanical surrogates and log into nearly boundless files of information and experience. Whether this counts as the end of humanity or the next stage in evolution depends on your point of view. Minsky's vision might sound vaguely familiar. After the first virtual reality machines hit the marketplace around 1989, feverish journalists hailed them as electronic LSD, trippy illusion machines that might entice the user in and then never let him out. Sociologists fretted that our culture, maybe even our species, would wither away. When the actual experience of virtual reality turned out to be more like trying to play Pac-Man with a bowling ball taped to your head, the talk died down. To his credit, Minsky recognizes that the merger of human and machine lies quite a few years away. 5. The extinction of humanity. This is not just prophesy, this is an inevitability. Although there are over 7 billion of us, and growing, today, humans have only been around in our current form for under a million years, with all of the great apes having existed for only a few million years. Evolution may be slow to occur in our species on the timescale of a single human lifetime, but over millions of years, it's inevitable. As the Earth changes, the pressures on different species to survive will change as well, all while random genetic mutations occur. Some mutations are beneficial to surviving the present pressures, and those are the genes that are most likely to get passed on. Whether an out-of-this-world catastrophe, like an asteroid strike, occurs or not, the eventual demise of humanity is inevitable. Whether we have descendants that survive or not is immaterial, we will go extinct on this world eventually. On geological and astronomical timescales, this is likely to happen sooner than later, and will be the first end of the world for us. 6. Alien Invasion At the SETI Institute in Mountain View, California, a cadre of dedicated scientists sifts through radio static in search of a telltale signal from an alien civilization. Not only do the aliens exist, they are about to stop by for a visit. But the history of human exploration and exploitation suggests the most likely danger is not direct conflict. Aliens might want resources from our solar system, Earth's oceans, perhaps, full of hydrogen for refilling a fusion-powered spacecraft, and swat us aside if we get in the way, as we might dismiss mosquitoes or beetles stirred up by the logging of a rainforest. Aliens might unwittingly import pests with a taste for human flesh, much as Dutch colonists reaching Mauritius brought cats, rats and pigs that quickly did away with the dodo. Or aliens might accidentally upset our planet or solar system while carrying out some grandiose interstellar construction project. 7. Giant Solar Flares Solar flares, more properly known as coronal mass ejections, are enormous magnetic outbursts on the Sun that bombard Earth with a torrent of high-speed subatomic particles. Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field negate the potentially lethal effects of ordinary flares. But while looking through old astronomical records, Bradley Schaefer of Yale University found evidence that some perfectly normal-looking, sun-like stars can brighten briefly by up to a factor of 20. Schaefer believes these stellar flickers are caused by superflares, millions of times more powerful than their common cousins. Within a few hours, a superflare on the sun could fry Earth and begin disintegrating the ozone layer. Although there is persuasive evidence that our sun doesn't engage in such excess, scientists don't know why superflares happen at all, or whether our sun could exhibit milder but still disruptive behavior. And while too much solar activity could be deadly, too little of it is problematic as well. Sally Balunas at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics says many solar-type stars pass through extended quiescent periods, during which they become nearly 1% dimmer. That might not sound like much, but a similar downturn in the sun could send us into another ice age. Baluna cites evidence that decreased solar activity contributed to 17 of the 19 major cold episodes on Earth in the last 10,000 years.